Hey Walking Dead fans, welcome back to the channel. This will be my review on World Beyond, The Walking Dead World Beyond Episode 3. Spoiler alert if you're not caught up to World Beyond Episode 3. Okay, right off the top, let's talk about the kids and their journey. This won't be a scene-by-scene -scene review, but it'll just be the talking points and some of my thoughts on the episode, right? So, of course, the kids in the smoke, the toxic, the fires, uh, supposed to be tires, piles of tires and think whatever you know it may be it should be toxic they're sleeping right in it instead of in a building somewhere if they could have found you know entrance into a building no shelter whatsoever all of this ash falling and of course you don't see any of it in their hair it should practically look like snow or something right um it's just uh there's just not a lot of sense in the layout of the set and the things like that so i'm just saying the realism which it's a zombie fantasy show, but it was hard for me to get into it when it's just so unreal for even what it's supposed to be. But anyway, um, trying not to go there. The main points of this episode was the bond between the two sisters. They played on that pretty much through the whole episode. And at the end, Hope ended up telling Iris what happened that night, the sky fell. Uh, with the moms and everything so she spilled the beans there we'll see how that plays out and the episode also focused a lot on silas the big guy the big kid and supposedly you know uh, i think we've might have talked about it in the comments and stuff silas did something bad but we don't think it was bad in a bad way like he was mean and did it it was like he was defending someone or maybe um, his one of his parents were abusive his dad abusive to the mom something like that is what it seems like it is and he just stepped up and said no more and we've seen that a lot that kind of story in a lot of different shows where I have anyway it seems like but that seems like th that's what Silas's story may be and him and Iris are kind of hitting it off right of course in the episode Hope goes away from the group and tries to turn a siren that it's a old hand crank thing and it breaks off so she has to take it apart and i mean in one part i think it was elton that said he doesn't know what haul ass means like come on dude haul ass he's like i don't know what that means and he finally gets it i understand these kids are post-apocalypse but hope understands kind of how to tear a old hand crank siren apart and get it going but Elton doesn't know the term haul ass. Little things. Little things. Just me. But as far as their journey is cool. They made it through the bog safely. And I swear this moment right here. Hold the door man. Hold the door. That's what I was thinking the whole time that this happened. I mean even as it started falling I thought Silas is going to grab it. Sure enough he yelled I'll grab it. Get everybody through. And I'm like oh man it's a hold the door moment. It's got to be. But Silas made it out okay. He's safe. And uh, like I said, him and Iris kind of, you know, they're getting together. The ending has the soldier Barca, the one from Campus Colony, and Elizabeth coming to see Elizabeth. His conscience is getting to him about killing everybody. He questions Elizabeth about it. She reminds him turning on power and radio and TV, you know, the gas, the opening the fridge full of food. You know, it's just better than even before type of life. And she's like, hey, there's 200 plus thousand people in this city. That's pretty crazy. Um, and they're living. They're the, we're the light of the world. We're the future, blah, blah, blah. So as the scene plays out, we realize a lot of stuff as far as they're in a really nice place. There's 200 plus thousand people. Yes, they did wipe out Campus Colony. And then toward the end, they took Barca to the complex. And she said he would be released if he went through the program or whatever. He's like, I'm not going to ever be fit again to serve for this place. And she's like, well, you're not leaving the complex. So it doesn't, you know, it sounds like they just knocked him out when they took him out the door. They didn't kill him. Um, the idea is not to kill him, but take him to this complex. Well, I think that's where Rick may be. Hint, hint, hint. But possibly not. There, there's probably a lot of complexes. There's probably the prison. There's probably um, who knows what. But Rick probably went through this program and he is at there somewhere working somehow trying to get out. You know, I'm not a big question to me is Jadis and her uh, ability to free roam. Maybe if that was her on the boat, maybe she escaped 
And uh, the reason she wasn't on the boat and it drifted ashore at Virgil's is because she was captured, recaptured. I don't know. There's a lot of loose ends here that um, it'll just take a little while for it all to play out, I guess. The courts, the schools, culture, currency and economy, agriculture, manufacturing. But we're learning more about CRM, where they are, what they are, how they are, what they do, and things like this complex that Bark is going to be sent to, whether it is the place Rick is or not. The list of things that she said they had is pretty much everything, manufacturing, you know, everything, and all these people. So... Yeah, that's a pretty big thing to try to protect. Is it worth wiping out Campus Colony over? Of course not. But hey, they have some sinister ways going on here. And it's definitely that look for the cure. It's going to be a little sci-fi, I think, in the way of uh, the research and some of the things they're doing, possibly. But I can't wait to get into more of that. And it may be the movies before we get totally into it. But from the looks at the end of episode three, we may get a bunch of it in World Beyond throughout because that was a pretty good bit uh, as far as uh, the mythology and letting us know stuff about Civic Republic and CRM. But I'm sure I'll probably re-break down this end scene and throw in some other ideas and thoughts once I kind of think about it a little more and look at it a little bit more through the week before the next episode. So let me know what you guys think. And yeah, I know the writing's bad and the acting isn't that great. You don't have to keep repeating that you think the show sucks. If you think it does, you don't necessarily have to say so. I understand. I'm with you. But if you have something to um, add to the conversation, to the discussion, please do so below and I will join you there. This is James in Nashville. Thanks everyone for watching and for everything and I hope you're safe wherever you are. Stay tuned for more dead stuff.